Hey guys, welcome to FTB Skies. It's the mod pack you decided on. I gave you guys a chore. I said, what do you want to see me play? And you guys voted on FTB Skies. So this is what we're going to be playing. Um, I think you guys all enjoyed all the mods eight. At least it looked like you did. I got uh, pretty good numbers, at least numbers that I think are good for my channel. And um, yeah, you guys have shown a lot of support for that that uh, series and still I'm still getting questions and stuff on things um, on how to you know do a couple things and um, most of the stuff I think I explained in videos but if I didn't you can always send me a comment and ask me I'll do things I have no problem with answering that but yeah guys you guys voted on this this was overwhelmingly the choice so we are going to play this so if you don't know this is on the FTB launcher this is not a curse launcher um all the mods 8 was on curse so this is ftb um i've had problems with ftb launcher in the past so hopefully we don't have any <clears throat> have any issues with this one um this is a cool boat by the way um i don't know if there's anything on the boat now i've watched i'm not gonna lie i've watched probably probably six six to ten videos <laughs> i don't know how long i'm any but i've watched uh, quite a few videos on people starting this pack um, but that's about it. But I've never seen anybody actually walk around and see if they could get anything out of the chest. It doesn't look like anything is actually in here, to be honest with you. I mean, we could go around and see if there's stuff hidden. But I don't think that anything on the ship is accessible. Like everything, I can't even break a block, so it's all protected. So I think that's the way it is. Um, yeah, I can't get anything. So I think it's just all for looks. It is a really nice looking boat. Uh, it's a flying boat, by the way, if you didn't know. It's very similar to the one that was in all the mods, um, except I don't see, I think like the one in all the mods is more like that part and not this part attached to it. This looks like two boats. Looks like that looks like probably like that's the big balloon part. And then this is like the captain's area. I don't know. So what we're going to do is uh, let's first off, see what we got in our inventory. So we got some trees, some apples, bone meal, a quest book, and an, uh, an Akashic Tome, which if you guys don't know, the Akashic Tome's got all the other books in it. So uh, in case you lose a book, um, we also have um, stuff already saved here. So to give you guys uh, an idea, I started playing this. We I started the server using, um, I think it was 1.0.4, and it got stuck. So I couldn't do anything. I couldn't move. Um, I couldn't click on anything. It just got stuck. So I updated the server to 1.06 and updated my client to 1.06. So my client, this is from my client save. So <clears throat> we got... Um, on the island and we started making stuff so we'll just do it over i have no problem with that so we're going to go through here it's going to give us a choice on what kind of islands to pick um right here so this is the ftb sky island i'd say it's 50 50 on like all the people i've watched <clears throat> some people are choosing this one some people i've actually seen somebody choose this one i've seen one person choose this one i haven't seen anybody do these other ones i think this would be horrible to do an, a compact sky island that would be absolutely horrible <laughs> So I think we're going to do this one. I liked this one only because it's got a couple things that help you out like right away. So we're going to go ahead and click on this one. And it's going to give us, so system, renovate party, renovate has joined a system party. Cool. All right. So we have this, right? So we're going to click on this. This is FTB Skies, of course. This is welcome to FTB Skies. You get this. Um, the quests are entirely optional, but we're going to be doing the quest. So we're going to get this, this, and this. Now here's what happened in 1.04. Uh, they gave you this before you joined the island. And when you joined the island, this stuff went away. So you lose it. So uh, I think it's been fixed. So we're going to go to getting started. Join or create a team island. I don't think we need to do that. We already have that book. So we'll just get another book. Starting your own island. Uh, going through the ship's portal will allow you to choose a starting island, which we just did. You can play with a friend or join a party. There's nobody playing with us on this time. Uh, strictly me. Um, you can teleport back to your party's island using this and this. We won't need to do that, though. So let's just go ahead and click this and get... Uh, you just record your glyphs. I don't know what glyphs it's talking about, so let's look at this. You recorded your known glyphs to the codex. I know, but I don't... <laughs> what glyphs? What is this from? Oh, Ars Nouveau. Okay, so it's like our spell book. Okay. Uh, so let's put all our books up here. Ability 
ability bottle. Oh, okay, okay. So there's abilities in this. Okay, so we'll be getting abilities that we can put in here that will actually help us too. But I think they cost levels, if I don't remember, if I remember correctly. I, rem I remember using this in a different mod pack. Um, so let's put this all over there. Let's put this here and let's put all this stuff up here. So if you didn't notice, I'm in a blue outfit. So I don't know how that works. So on all the mods, I was in a black outfit and now I'm on FTBs and we're on a blue outfit. And I just realized there is a building up there behind us and I didn't build that. So I don't know what that is. And I don't even know how we're gonna be able to get to it, but it looks cool. We are using the um, shaders mod that's included in the pack. So if you just go to options and you go to video settings, oh, let's get rid of this. Uh, it's right here, shader packs. We only have one though so shaders are enabled i think in all the mods we used this one um but uh that's what we have so this is our little island and uh we're just gonna go ahead and get started so let's get our let's get our quest book and uh can we zoom in there we go so you guys can see it uh let's go to this we already did that all right cool so let's start here starting our stringing uh, you along so we need to get some string and that's going to give us some bone meal, some straw, and some flax seeds, which I saw over here. So let's go grab these. All right. And I think you just break these like this. And then we can replant this, correct? Just put this in here. Now, I don't know. This is called rich soil. So I don't know. It doesn't seem like you can plant it. So I don't know if I've got to build a hoe and do that. I'm um, not quite sure. And then I am going to take... Um, this lamp, um, let's just not even worry about it, right? Let's take this. I want all the wood. <laughs> all right, so that gave us the lamp too. So I need to take this lamp and put it like over here. I don't think there was a light over here. There is one there. Um, there's one there. Let's actually just keep this here. We end up getting into an issue where the mobs spawn like right away. So we'll get some mobs spawning here, which there's nothing I can do about. Um, but I'll just stay over here where it's safe. <laughs> But I'm going to take this wood. Actually, let's 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 file along the quest real quick. So let's do this. It wants us to get some string. All right, and that will be uh, part one of our quest. So we're done. So that was that was a great game, and we're finished. So then it wants us to go jump down here real quick. So we did get the logs. All right, and then that's going to give us some apples and some leaves. And then that's going to want us to make a. Um, a composter in order for us to get uh, some of this other stuff. Now, I'm actually going to do this because I'd like to get these hoppers. So we can't make hoppers unless we have iron. But this recipe here seems like it would be worth trying to do. So let's get some of our wood. All right. And then let's make, um, let's do this, this, this. And then can we do this too? Okay, cool. We can do that. All right. So that way we can attach to a chest. Let's get rid of that piece of that there. Just keep watching. Um, I am going to do a couple things because I am the uh, server owner, all right? So I'm going to OP myself, OP renovate, all right? So that is done. And then we're going to set some game rules on this. So game rule, um, I always do this. I don't care how people uh, think about this. I really don't care. This just helps. As a YouTuber, this helps tremendously. I know some YouTubers don't do it. I don't care. Uh, we're going to do mob uh, griefing. We're going to set that to false, all right? So if something blows up, it's not going to hurt us, all right? The other game rule we're going to do, game rule, rule, is fire tick. So do fire tick, and we're going to turn this off. False, all right? That means if this fire were to hit this or lava or anything, nothing burns down, okay? We are on an island, so a floating one at that. All right, so let's get that done. That is done. So let's go ahead and grab this, and let's get two of those, and then we got to make these here, and then I think it was like this, right? Oh, we need one more. Oop. All right, so let's do that. And then that makes us a barrel. Yep, there we go. So we got that. I'm going to put that uh, probably this set it over here. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and get that. It gives us a hopper for free. So we get some bow meal for free. This gilded barrel. So I don't know what that is. A mushroom barrel. I don't know what that is. And then it gives us uh, two free hoppers, all right? So let's uh, jump in here. I don't know what this actually is. I just want to put it down. Does it? Is there anything in it? There's nothing in that. And then this one here, and there's nothing in that. It's just the way that they look. So it's from chipped. All right, so that makes sense. It's from the chipped mod. That means you can basically um, make them look like whatever you want to. So that's pretty cool. So we do get some barrels. Uh, we'll use these right here for right now. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, let's put the other one here. We'll just use this for storage. Um, you know what? Let's actually, let's re-break these. And I want to see, does it work? Crap. 
I want to see if it works with the uh, the crafting table. It should. I don't know if it will, though. See, that's what I'm worried about, that guy right there. Yeah, it does see this, but it doesn't see the other one. So if I put this one on the other side, does it see it? Will it see both barrels or only one? Only one. Only sees one barrel. Oh, actually, no, it does see both. See? All right, cool. So that does work. We're just going to leave that guy over there, and then we'll take care of him in a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's store some of our stuff. Actually, you know what? Um, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. So let's do this. Sorry, guys. And I'll explain why here in a second. So we'll go like that. And I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, some chests. So let's go like this. Let's go make four chests. And then we'll take the rest of this wood. And we'll go like this. Only because that allows me to see like a lot more. Okay. So, and then we can put all our stuff in here. So all this stuff goes in there. All that stuff goes in there. All right, cool. So that's that. Are you kidding me? We got those guys too. Crap. Um, so let's grab this. Let's go ahead and uh, let's look in our cross book real quick. So what do we have? Uh, we're down here. Gadgets and gizmos. A table. We would have got some chests anyways. So that's kind of cool. Let's go back to this. So we need to make a uh, cobblestone and it's a uh, sneak right click on the grass or the dirt to get rocks. All right, so we need to sneak right click over here so nobody sees us. All right, so here's our rock. Now I have a auto clicker that could do this probably faster and I might go ahead and, and activate it. I don't have it set yet, but we could probably go ahead and activate it and use it. Um, I don't know how long it takes to get cobblestone in this pack. I do know we start with sifting like immediately, so we're going to have to have some resources. I just don't know how we're going to get them like right away. Um, oh, I don't want this on there. All right. So also, you guys, if you didn't know, you can go in here and type in events, toggle, and then just go down to stick and then press enter. It turns them off. So I don't want these sticks. I hate this. They don't do anything. Um, we'll still get loot bees, and I guess there's just some other events that take place on the island. I just don't want those. All right, so um, can you press K on these? You can. All right, so that's that. All right, so that opens up uh, this little line down here, right? So we get more cobble, a pet rock, which is awesome, and some dirt. And then uh, it wants us to make a hammer. So the hammer is made by stone sticks. Is this stone sticks or just sticks? Okay, or uh, cobblestone sticks or cobblestone stick. All right, so if we go like this, and let's actually make one more, right? That, and then we go like this. That makes us our first hammer, all right? So we made a hammer, and then I'm going to go ahead and make some wooden sticks and we'll make a stone sword real quick just in case these guys come over here and decide to, to wreck our faces <clears throat> that's our pet rock so let's go put and put him like right here what's up man why aren't you happy why do you have an egg on your head it's not easter anymore <laughs> Uh, what are these clumps of soil what do they do anything it turns it into dirt awesome all right so i didn't know you move i thought you were stationary it's, you're a pet rock, man. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, I tell you what, you guys name him. Name him for me. And once we get a name tag, I'll name it. I think we can. But you name this guy, and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, put him in here. So let's continue on. So I got this, right? And it wants us to make um, gravel, sand, and dust. All right, so the way that that works. Man, this is so scary with these guys over here is you go like this, all right? And then use your hammer. We can actually um, do it that way. And that turns that into gravel, all right? I am going to save the gravel for right now. And then we'll do some more over here. So we gotta do this twice to get the next level. So we'll go hammer this, all right? And then we'll hammer it again. And that's gonna give us the next item. And you can see down there it says stone hammer. Hammer, it shows you what you're gonna get. So we're gonna get sand this time, all right? So there's the sand part. I'll put that over there. And now we gotta do this three times to get the dust. So let's go like this, break that, rebuild it. And we should be good. Just gotta keep an eye on these guys over here so they don't they don't like the new guy on the island. They're like, you know what, we had this island for ourselves for so long, and now you moved in. And you brought a pet rock. Alright, so we got that done. Let's go in here and click this. So we got 16, 16, and 16, which is great. Uh, now we need to make a string mesh. This is string with uh, sticks around it. Uh, the one thing I did want to look at, though, is if we make this, it gives us four more. So we're going to have five in total, five sifter, sifters. So we're going to probably have to make five mesh, uh, meshes. So let's go ahead and plan on that. Um, 
don't die pet rock so we need to go in here and we have six of these but we don't have a very many sticks do we all right so let's do that and then go like this and then we should have that's only four crap all right there's four four nets um i think oh man that should be enough right i don't know well we'll, we'll keep going so there's our there's our first strings it's gonna give us some wooden hoppers and some some food which is awesome and then now we need to go to making these things right so to make this we need a wooden gear two pieces of wood um stone and cobblestone so if that's the case then i need to make a stone furnace so let's make a stone furnace real quick. I'm actually going to make a stone furnace. Um, let's make two of these. Uh, one for our cooking. And then we'll make one for making uh, some charcoal. So let's put that in there and see if this will burn. That will burn. So we're going to make some charcoal so we can make some torches. And hopefully that will help us out there a little bit. And then this one uh, we can... Um, do I have any more wood left? Um, I don't really have, I have some trees. I guess we could plant some trees over here, like right here. Can I plant trees on this? So this, this is Batania dry grass, and this is grass. It's not like real dirt. Is there twerking in this? No, there's not. Uh, so we're gonna have to use some bone meal. That's fine. Let's grab, we did get a lot of bone meal though. Uh, I can't scroll click out of that. So let's go back over here. All right, so there's that. And then let's just break this down. All right, and then break that all down. So we get a bunch of bunch of stuff. All right, so that's cool. Uh, let's put uh, the berries and stuff in there and the hoppers and that. So I just needed the wood, though. So let's get, um, what were we making? So we need to make that, I know for sure. Um, I just need to, I just need some fuel, basically. So let's, I don't want to use all of it. Oh, crap. There, do that, and then that. And then let's make six pieces probably be enough uh this made our charcoal so we can go and put some torches around the island and i'm just going to wing it like where we're probably going to need torches so i'm just going to put these in random spots oh, hopefully it will help and deter some of these guys oh god i didn't see you like snuck around the back man oh, we got our first kill we got our first kill all right so where did the creeper guy go did he like decide to move Go somewhere. Let's put a torch there, probably like one here and uh, in the middle of the island. And then one here. I mean, we got left one. Crap. All right. We'll eventually get more. It seems like over here would be the area where they would spawn. I did notice there's some stuff in here that we might be able to use, though. There's some, there's one of those we could use. And then lots of wood. And there's lots of dirt here, actually. So there's lots of dirt inside there. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to break these because I think. If I'm not mistaken, I can use these to burn, maybe? Trap doors to burn? I don't know. We might be able to use them to burn. Let's see. Can we use these? Does this have a burn rate on it? They do have a burn rate. That's cool. All right, so we got that. All right, let's click on this. What did we What did we unlock? Something way down here, armor and weapons. Uh, our first stone sword, a vanilla sword. And we got some food. That's cool. This is cool. I like that. And then monster hunter. We already started this. So, oh my god. We already got a wild and spike. Wild and horn, wild and wing. Dang. That actually created something, if I remember correctly, in, in all the mods. It's got a lot of lot of a lot of mods in it, doesn't it? Alright, so let's get back to this. So we need to make this. So we need to make this wooden gear, which is a stone button and some sticks. Alright, let's go in here, do a stone button, and then we need some more sticks. Let's put this down here. So stick, 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 button. Alright, and then we need this. And then it was like this. I believe and then a piece of stone and then this and this uh oh it's three stone all right i just had it backwards all right so this goes up here and then this goes here and here all right so we had it almost right so there's that so we got one and let's see let's just set this up man i don't know where to put this really um let's just set it like right here in front of all this stuff actually you know what uh let's just keep it for right now so let's go in here because we're going to get more as soon as i click on this oh we need to make the hand crank so you need a wooden button this time. All right, so let's make a wooden button. Let's grab this off, make a wooden button. All right, so we have a wooden button and some of this, um, actually I think it was like this and this was cobblestone. <laughs> uh, no, it was just exactly backwards, all right? So it was, it was this and then a piece of cobblestone. All right, so that's a hand crank. So we got the hand crank and that. So we're done with this. And what's pushing me, man? Dude, why are you in my mouth? Why are you, why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me, man? Why don't, aren't you happy? I don't even know what would make you happy. You're a pet rock. I've, would you, how about this? 
Do you eat rock? You don't eat rocks. Can I click on you? Can't click on you. So I don't even know what to feed you. So let's go in here and that's going to give us uh, some hoppers, some experience, some eggs, some more cogwheels and some more sifters. Now it says right here, a hand crank produces enough stress capacity for eight sifters. Sifters also have a cog in them. So if you can place them in a line, make sure the cog wheel uh, that is part of the sifter aligns with the cog wheel your hand crank is on. Okay. That sounds like a plan stand. All right. So um, what does it take? Uh, let's check something. So what else did we unlock? Something up here, progression. Um, we got this. Uh, is this to make another one? They want us to make another one? Go back. Uh, meshes gives us flax in a force pack. Um, so we actually got that. I don't know what the force pack does. Sifter and mesh. All right. So we got that done. Turn it in. Mesh progression. Oh, there's different meshes. Oh, that's kind of cool. And this is turn it in. What does that mean? Tusk task screen um, from FTB Quest. Certain tasks don't just need you to have something. You have to submit it. Ah. Uh, it's just a bunch of stone in a book. We don't have anything to make a book right now, so we don't worry about that. All right, so what I'm thinking of is um, we got lots of fish and we got some flax over there. I'm thinking of going to make a bed. So let's go over here real quick with our bone meal and let's let's grow this flax real quick. And we're gonna need what? Um, how many string would that be? So that would be 17 string. That gives me, I just need three of these. One, two, the scroll doesn't work. That really sucks that the scroll doesn't work. <laughs> I just wanna scroll it into my inventory. What is, we have a cat in our tree? Are you kidding me? That's cool. We have pet rocks, we have pet fish. We have pet cats that are in the tree. It's amazing. All right, so what a world. So let's go ahead and do this and then this, and that makes us a bed. So now we have a bed. I'm just gonna put it right here beside the fire. Hopefully we don't die. Let's put it right beside the water. You can only sleep at night. Okay, uh, do we have, because you guys uh, just nailed it in, in, in all the mods, is there a hammock in this, a hammock? I don't, it doesn't look like there is, all right. Um, so there, we don't have a hammock in this one. That would suck because we could get rid of the rain if we did it that way. Um, so, okay, let's continue. So I think what we want to do is we got these wooden hoppers. Now, do I have more? I have two more wooden hoppers. We have a bunch of chests and then we have a, a wooden cog wheel. What does it take to make, uh, let's go into at create, uh, at create. Why am I hearing music? Let's go, what does this take? So that takes, wooden slabs, uh, a shaft, which is andesite alloy. We don't have any of that stuff. So that's not something we're gonna be able to do like right away, but we could get there eventually, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and set these up. Now, the way that I wanna do this is let's go ahead and put the, let's put the chests like here. Chest, chest, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want them connected. Chest, 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 right? And then we're gonna, Hopper into the back of these. All right, and then we're gonna put the sifters on the top. So sifter, 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 sifter. And then we need the string meshes. All right, and then I think you can put hoppers into the, the backs of these, I think. What's it take to make, I don't have any more, I have these hoppers here, but I don't have any more wooden hoppers. What's it take to make a wooden hopper? So let's go back to this and then We'll see if we can get this started. So wooden hopper, it's right there. So it's just slabs in a chest. It looks like what it is. Okay, so we're probably gonna need to make, uh, let's go into here. I don't have any more wood. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's do slabs and we need a chest and I don't have enough to make a chest. Okay, so we need some, we need another piece of wood over here. I don't wanna break down too much stuff, but these things here just don't really do anything for me. And we can always rebuild this. I don't know about the, the track. Oh, what was this? Oh, <gasps> what? There's secrets in these. What is this? This is a charm of levitation. Applies levitation when active in the inventory. Levitation for a minute and 30. Are you kidding me? A wand, an angel block, an endless sky. Oh my God. So uh, let's do this and then this. How do you activate it? You have to like click on it or something? Uh. <laughs> no way. And then what happens? It just repeats? Oh, it's got a durability. So how do I, um, crap. Uh, let's, uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Okay. It's a good thing we got water. <laughs> okay, so that was a thing. So that we might use that at a later date when we decide that it's uh, a good time to just you know off ourselves or something over the over the void. So um, force packs. I don't know what these are. It's just like a little backpack. Well, that's kind of fun. Um, I don't really need that though. Uh, in the sky, what does this do for us? Uh, welcome to FTB Skies. You found a secret stash, and now my treasures are yours, along with this haiku. Above the world's strife, living in the vast blue sky, freedom's endless life. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. And then this angel block, we'll use that later. But this iron wand will be nice. We can use that. Let's put this stuff away. Um, I guess we could start eating some food, because if we eat food, we gain hearts. So I ate that. And then let's eat uh, some dumplings. And we... Did we get a heart? I don't feel like we did. Uh, we do have some more eggs. And we have some chickens. I'm, I'm done eating. Okay, so that's done. So did we get... Uh, we got the wood. So let's go ahead and do um, a, some chests here. So let's grab this. And then we just need to put these here. All right, and that gives us that. I'm going to need a lot more than just that one. So we might have to... We might use both of ours. I think I can just put them in the back of there like that. So if that's the case, uh, we have three of these. That makes us 13. So let's go like this and put these here. So that makes us two more. All right, so that's that should be fine. We'll just use one of the other hoppers for this. So if we put this hopper on the back like that, and then we put uh, some chests on the top. Uh, so we're going to need to make some more chests. So let's go like that. That makes us four more chests. And then let's grab our other hopper out of here. How come you can't scroll click let's, there's uh, scroll stuff out of there? That's that's dumb. Uh let's put that there. And then let's jump up here on the top, like so. And then let's go like this. Alright, and so that should be our setup right there, right? And we just need to get some what the hell was that? Oh we got a frog now. That's cool. Alright. I just saw that little guy like jump. Alright, so if we have that and we have this little cogwheel like here and um no that's not how it goes um let's see can i use this to break yeah we can all right cool so let's put that um let's put that there and it's like can i click this there we go that's what we needed and then break this all right and then let's grab let's grab um the cog thing here and go like this actually can i put it on the bottom does it matter where no, that's not where it goes. I wonder if you could put it on the bottom and I can just spin it from the bottom, but we'll just we'll put it on the top here. Does that turn them all? It does turn them all. Okay, cool. So let's grab, uh, let's put all this stuff up here. So we need dust, gravel, sand, and then I don't know if you can do cobblestone. Uh, let's click on this and see. Let's go back. Uh, we had some, it says I have something to click on. Uh, sugar cane. <clears throat> I don't know where you get sugar cane from. But it looks like it's fun. So um, you can sift some. Sugarcane is used in several important other recipes. If your island doesn't spawn any, you can sift some. Thanks to Potheosa, sugarcane can grow in new heights. Okay, so this can be sifted from sand in a string mesh. All right, so let's look at this stuff first. Let's go to this. So uh, sand will give us uh, sulfur, redstone, glowstone. Uh, this, is, this is in an andesite mesh, though. Oh, uh, okay. So I see. So if we typed in string mesh, string, we type this in. So this is going to give us, um, dirt is going to give us flax seeds, andesite chunks, durite chunks, and tough chunk. Um, the leaves that we got will give us saplings, uh, cocoa beans, and sugar cane, and then dust will give us bone meal, gunpowder, and appetite. And then gravel will give us iron and waterlogged sand waterlogged. I gotta put this under water? We'll give us this. So, uh, how do we get, so what is the next, so these are called what, meshes? Okay, let's type in, let's type in mesh. Let's want to see what the, what the, the thing is. So this is string mesh, andesite mesh. The andesite's the next one, right? And what do you get with this one? So a lot more stuff. So sand will give you this while being waterlogged. Oh, okay. So this gives us all our stuff. So we need to get some andesite first. So that's the, the string where it's one gives us andesite. Dirt gives us andesite. All right, so let's do, uh, let's do dirt in this first one. Uh, we'll put all the dirt in here. 
So it loaded it into that. This one will put uh, gravel. This one will put sand. And then this one will put the dust. All right, so that's all going in there. And then we just need to sit here. I'm actually gonna take a picture of this. Beep. All right, and then we're gonna, we're gonna turn this thing. Check it out. Here, I'll take a picture of that. That looks better, I like this one. Cool, all right, that, that works. And it goes pretty fast. So once we get andesite, I can use the andesite to make a water wheel. And this will be pretty much automated, right? The only thing though, is we don't have a uh, way to automate the cobblestone. So we'll have to come up with a way to make more cobblestone. I'm sure it's gonna tell us how to do that. Uh, so let's go in here. So that's gonna give us sugar cane. It even it already tells us to make a water wheel. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. And then, um, okay, so here is a way of making material generators. All right, so uh, milking fire. Uh, the squeezer squeezes fluids out of items. To do this, place it inside repeatedly. Okay, notable squeezer blade squeeze blaze powder into lava. So that'll make us lava. And oh, we have pedestals in here. All right, so. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, pedestals with the generator. This base is just a crafting component. Okay, we gotta use that with that. All right, so, and that will give us, oh, okay, okay. I know where this is heading. Okay, we're gonna have to make a, we're gonna have to make a bunch of pedestals. Okay, that's cool. So let's go ahead and let's just keep doing this. Um, is it nighttime? Look, I feel like it's nighttime. Let's do this. And what is that little guy right there? What are you? Hopefully you're not mean, but what are you? Um, oh, you just completely disappeared. All right, whatever. Let's go back over here. So let's see what we got. So we got um, durite chunks, andesite chunks. We got iron, which is cool. Uh, we did get some cocoa beans and some uh, bone meal. And then we did get some appetite and gunpowder. So let's go ahead and click this, this. That's gonna give us more bone meal, more paper, a sponge. I don't know why we need a sponge. And a sponge, a spawn egg. Cool, so we do have bees in this, so that's gonna be fun. Um, we can sift that, all right. So it wants us to make um, a fishing rod, which is gonna make us a fishing net, a splash potion of luck, and an ink sack. Uh, casting a reel into water over and over, and relaxing for some, but pure torture with others. To help you with your journey, we've included a handy dandy um, cyclic fishing net. Just insert your fishing rod and it'll handle the rest. The only problem is that in spite of its loot over the entire water surface, rather than collecting in an inventory, uh, an item collector would be very helpful. Yeah, it would be. Fishing is also a good source for ink sacks and coral. All right, so that's cool. So that's kind of the end of the road for this one. Um, let's click on some of this other stuff. I just want to see what's up here. Okay, so this says uh, you may observe or you may occasionally run into a loot bee. It spawns around the island. They'll give you gifts. All right. So can I just observe? Oh, so I got to see it first. Okay. Well, I haven't seen one. Uh, events. All right. We did that. And then throwing shade. All right. So FTP Skies comes with Oculus, a mod that allows you to shade. Okay. We already did that. So that's going to give us a die bee spawn egg and some experience. All right. So that's cool. Um, this, uh, we do, we already had the iron nuggets. They're in this one here. This one. We already had that, so let's unlock that. So we're, we're, we're moving right along. I mean, oh, they gave us andesite and fish stew and some more andesite. That's freaking awesome. All right, so now we can make these nets and continue on this way. But I think that's all we're going to do today, guys. I don't want to go too far into the pack, like right away. And I don't want to keep going. I don't want the episode to be long, but... Thank you for voting for this pack. We're going to continue it. Um, and then um, if you guys have already started playing and you found some cool tips or tricks, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, guys, it's been episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smack the like button, hit the subscribe button. Even if you uh, aren't a subscriber, slap the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Helps me out. We'll help you out too eventually, I promise. I'll see you next time, guys.